I've actually managed to, or at least Debs has actually managed to sort out all the flights um, for us to get to the bash in America this year. They'll be all finalised probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to that. And I'd also like to say a massive thanks for all the support I've had to help us get there. Um, it's amazing the t-shirt sales and odds and ends have all, it's all helped, it's all come together and we're definitely going and we're definitely looking forward to it. After we've been at the bash, uh, we're going to go to Vancouver Island. I don't... When Debsy was really poor, he, the people from Vancouver Island did a little video, they put a video together for her uh, and she really wants to go and meet these people, which is, which is quite understandable. So we'll be going to Vancouver Island. So anybody from Vancouver Island that's watching this, um, if you can send us an email uh, just to give us some ideas of airports and decent places to stay, that would be very helpful. Um, I've got a flight book there, we're definitely going there, um, probably spending four or five days there before I come home. Uh, it looks a fantastic place and I'm really looking forward to getting there. And I know uh, Deb really is, Deb really is looking forward to meeting the people. I've got a piece of quarter inch silver steel here. I need to make a scribe for last week's giveaway for the scribing block. I've got a six to seven mil collet in here and that'll squash down sufficiently to grip onto this piece of silver steel which like I say is quarter inch which is basically 6.25 mil. Using a collet chuck will be ideal for this because the collet chuck won't damage the material. And I'm just going to be running nice and true. First thing I'll do I'll face the end which will help us to ensure that the lathe tool is dead on centre height and I've set the compound side across and we'll machine the tape on it, do the other end then I need to heat it up and temper it. I've got the lathe running fairly fast, 1000 rpm, it may need to speed up. Tool's very, very slightly below the centre height. That's better. Still slightly lower. Right, that's bang on. Stop machining the tape off. That's roughly the length of tape on a one so I think I'll adjust the compound angle just to make it a little bit steeper. Better. And that's putting a nice sharp point on which will always be finished off on a grinding wheel. And there's a nice sharp point. Right, that's really sharp now. I'll turn it round, do the other end.
that's nasty, very nasty, or very nice, then how you, you look at it. The one end will be left straight, the one end have a slight bend in it. So we'll warm it up and take it to full hard and then bring the temper back on it a little bit. I've got a little propane torch here which should give us enough heat to do the job. All you need to do is get the end of this to a cherry red, quench it in water. When it's at the right temperature to quench, it loses its magnetic attraction. That's a magnet there, you can see it's sticking. And it won't stick once it's at the right temperature, which is basically the dull red. Once it's been quenched in the water, it becomes fully hard, called glass hard, because it's as hard as glass basically. Very red, the colour you need, make right, that's no longer magnetic, so it's at the right temperature, straight your water. You know the end of that, it's fully hardened, really hard, it's that hard that I should make the bar over the tile. I heat the other end up, because I need to bend the other end as well. and a little bit of heat here, we've got all the oxygen settling. That's enough of a bend now we'll harden it. Not quite. Very close. It's not taking the magnet anymore, so it's at the right temperature. Straight the water. Right, so now that is at the stage of being fully hard. That's something out of the... Possibly some of Deb's plastic joke anyway. We're going to fail. Fail is just sliding over the top of it, not marking it, near it sliding, and the centre it cuts. So that's at the stage of being fully hard. Soft there, near it cutting, in there, just slipping over the top. I need to polish it now, nice and clean and shiny, and then we'll temper it. Right now we need to temper it. I polish it so it's nice and shiny and the idea is you apply the heat probably down here somewhere and you watch for the colours to go up there, it'll change colour and the colour we need on the end of there is a dark straw that's the ideal, ideal colour to temper the scribe with once it gets that temperature you can quench it in water but I'm actually going to quench it in oil in the good old days I used to use wheel oil uh, but I think a little bit of 1040 it'll probably do the job for me I think quenching in oil, you get a better colour, and it also, I think it gives a better temper, but you can just use water. There is certain steels that you have to use oil, but silver steel I think you can basically use either. Right, so we'll heat it up, and we're looking for 
the dark straw colour. You don't put the heat on the on the actual point, you put the heat away from it and the heat slowly travels up the up the part you can see the colour start to go in a minute. There they are. Browns and purples. We want a dark straw colour. Nearly a brown in fact. It's basically about there. Well, I've brought the camera in so hopefully you can see the, the colours a little bit better on the other end. Bastard, that's all that. Let me just put a glove on. Right. See, this is not hard and this is tempering. This is actually making it softer. See the colours there. That brown colour. That's the colour we're after. I want that up on the tip of the... See the colour moving up towards the tip there. Going, going, going. Right, we'll give it a little try at a, a block of ordinary male steel, run the scrape down it. And that's scraping a lane, it hasn't marked the point. Try the other end. Nice scrape lane in the point has remained untouched. That's a scrape mounted into its, into its block, into its scraping holder, or scraping block. This will be a surface plate, you'd have your marking, marking out solution on there. And you can scrape a nice straight line across there. If you want to go lower down, that's what that one's for. You can scrape and walk through that down, like that. Quite a handy tool, apart from scraping lanes, it can be used to, you can measure a point on there. I use one of the lathe sometimes for measuring centre height of lathe tools. Like I say, quite a nice handy little tool, a good little project to build, make one from scratch. Anyway, this one's going to get posted off to America. Uh, Bruce Gratton is the gentleman that's won it. The double boost t-shirt campaign is nearly finished, it's like it's got 8 hours, 8 or 9 hours to run, so if you want to buy a t-shirt, help support me and my wife get the, the bash in America, I'll put the link in the uh, description box in the video. As always, I'd just like to put in a massive thanks to everybody who supported, um, supported my channel, supported me, supported my wife through thick and thin really, it's, it really has been... Uh, a fantastic experience.